hello it is wednesday today and i'm kind of bored oh my hair's still wet it has been chucking it down for about a week now i would say and it's just been really dark and gray and depressing and I haven't left the house. I was actually ill um, a couple of weeks ago. I had a cold and I had a COVID test done because I had a few symptoms. Luckily it was negative, but I just stayed indoors for two weeks just because I was ill and the weather was crap. So today I thought, because it's nice and sunny, I thought I'd venture out. Now we're kind of on the verge of a second lockdown. I don't know if it will happen, but if it does, I think it will happen soon. So I wanna make the most of it. And today has been quite a quiet day work-wise so I thought what better opportunity than oh this might be a really stupid idea um what better time than to venture to Primark like I said this might be a really stupid idea if there's a really long queue and just too many people around I'm just gonna stay away I think I don't really want to go anywhere near crowds I haven't really been to any shops since stuff has reopened and it's been like what a couple of months the I've done the odd sort of TK Maxx trip but that is about it <laughs> but to be honest I quite like popping into Primark sort of once a year around this time of year and just seeing what kind of knitwear they have like cardigans loungewear jumpers I like to dress quite um what i would call trampy in autumn winter just because ugh, the weather's crap you know and primark is a great place for that so i thought i'd check it out so anyway let's hope this hair dries by the time i get there but i'm gonna make a move i'm gonna vlog today just because nothing i've done for the past few months has been vloggable so i thought i would take you to primark with me and if i have a successful trip then you will see a haul oh mouth closed you'll see a haul at the end of this video. So keep watching for that. But hopefully I can vlog a bit in Primark and it isn't too busy and I can show you what new bits they have. Seeing as I haven't been there for at least a year or more, I'll show you what they currently have in stock if I can. <laughs> Is anybody else still not in the habit of remembering to take their face masks? We luckily have like a box of disposable masks in the boot of the car, but I really like these ones that we bought from Gap. We were in like the Swindon outlet mall, so they're a bit cheaper than they normally would be. But there was like a pack of three for, I think they're only 12 pounds but we got them for nine or something like that but these are such good quality and you can actually breathe really well because i bought another floral mask that i bought from like a small independent business and they like the material is just so bad and like it kind of goes in and out like as i'm wearing it because as i breathe because i really struggle to breathe in it and then i feel really suffocated then i just have to walk out of a shop before because i feel like i'm gonna have a panic attack or like faint or something like it's just an awful mask like it's, it's just the material or the way that it's made but this is really good um i'll show you when i have it on when i put it on when i get there but yep i'm back in the car for the second time now that i've gone inside and got my mask so let's go to primark so here we are this is my mask i don't even know if you can hear me very well in this i've become very good at not lip reading anymore since wearing this and also i just smiled at somebody but i realized that no one can see when you smile at them anymore so there we go i thought i might have to take the stairs but i got really lucky i managed to get in the lift all by myself hopefully nobody else gets in now <laughs> I quite like this, but in a way, if you've seen Shit's Cove, it reminds me of the dad. <laughs> That's what he wears to bed, so yeah, maybe not. <laughs> shopping in a mask. I'm going upstairs now because I've just remembered there's something I wanted to look for for Jess so hopefully they have it. He said he didn't want anything but he always says that and I like shopping for men it's just so much easier than myself so 
fingers crossed I find something. Oh, that's such a shame they only have one black one left and it's a 2XL which will definitely be far too big for Jess. Rest aren't very nice. I've done so much damage in Primark. I've got two separate bags. Right, I've got the ring light on because the lighting is just terrible. It's really dark already. About five o'clock, I've just got home, had a coffee, and I thought I would show you my Primark haul. I did so much damage. I spent £72 in there, which is not really like me. I'm not really a big spender um, anymore. I used to be, but now I just like to save all my money and travel which is why you don't see very many hauls from me but I thought seeing as I spent a lot and seeing as this whole video is about my Primark shopping trip it'd be rude not to show you what I bought so yeah um, I'm probably not going to try everything on but let's see how I go let's start with the smallest bag because it's just the easiest so I bought some trainer socks these are £2.50 I normally always just buy the black set or the white set I don't really go for like colorful stuff but these are quite nice they're all black and white and gray which I like but there's like polka dots there's stripes and yeah basically polka dots and stripes so all the patterns that I love nothing like offensive and they were £2.50 they're from Primark their trainer socks can be a bit hit and miss sometimes I find for some weird reason the white ones are always a better fit than the black ones like I've got black ones on today and they kind of like just fall down at the back and there's nothing more annoying than when your sock slips down your foot when you've got shoes on <laughs> I also bought some bedroom slippers these are the memory foam ones and I think they were a fiver it doesn't say anywhere. Oh, four pounds, even better. I bought some, in fact, oh, you'll see my horrible ones. Ages ago, these are from Primark. They have worn down so much. They're really comfortable and everything, but they've just like worn down quite a lot. Like they're, oh my God, look at that. I don't know if they were this thick in the first place, but that's ridiculous. So I thought I'd treat myself to a new pair. They're really uncomfortable at first. You have to like really kind of, break into them but they're really cozy and like we're living at home these days all we do is spend time in the house so in fact I think everything I've bought is to wear indoors like loungewear and cozy stuff I don't know we'll see so I bought this cardigan I always want a cardigan I'm not a cardigan person I mean I've had them in the past I only ever wear them in the house but I thought this looks really cool on the hanger and I have no idea what it would look like on. I don't think their changing rooms are open but I mean I don't know I hate trying stuff on in shops. I hate the whole shopping experience. I, in fact I forgot how much I hate shopping in person when I went shopping today. But um oh are you going to be able to see this? This ivory oh no. Okay it's really dark so I'll just turn the ring light off but hopefully you can see it a bit better. There we go, and it's got like a, it's like a longer length cardigan and it ties up. This was 15 quid, so quite expensive for a cardigan, but I thought it was quite nice and cosy and I liked the um, balloon sleeves. They had some jumpers like this, but they were like really thick and warm and I don't like stuff that's really th thick and warm because I get hot really easily. So I'm all about thin jumpers. But yeah, this was on the pricier end. This is easy to try on, so I'll do it on camera. It's definitely not cardigan weather yet for me. Oh, I really like this. Do you know what? I really like this. Um, it's not actually long length. It just looked it. But it's got a nice little tie waist. I like that it's open. It has no buttons or a zip. Do cardigans have zips? I would just um, tie this behind me like so. Yeah, I really like the sleeves. So yeah, very happy with this cardigan. Like I said, it was kind of pricey. It was 15 quid, but you know, what can you do? I'm going to hang that up there. These are actually clothes that we've decluttered and we're going to like list on eBay or Depop or somewhere at some point. I always pick up one of their two meter iPhone chargers. It was four pounds. I really like the lightning cables. They just don't last very long. Like, uh, I buy, I buy them on eBay for like cheaper than four pounds. They last about like the same amount of time. I just saw a black one, really liked it. So I thought, why not? I'll buy it, so I did. Okay, so this purchase 
it's so not me but i thought it looked quite nice it's like a tracksuit really weird they had like these in cream or ivory gray pink and they had beige but the beige ones had like a thick white stripe down the side which was quite nice but they had very little sizes in them i love this shade of blush pink i don't know if it's better with the ring light or without let me just have another go oh okay the ring light just blinds me um i'm not used to filming with this but i think it will help you see the color I had to get two different sizes. I love the oversized look, especially if you're like lounging around at home. So I picked this up in a 2XL. Oh, in fact, they only had 2XLs and mediums or something. So it's very oversized. This will fit, I know it will, so I'll be fine with that. Um, these I got in an XL. And I never know Primark sizes. They're very, they can be very hit and miss. They're both £10 each, by the way. And I think they'll be fine, but they're just, a slim fit jogger so hopefully they're like comfortable because i don't see myself really wearing these anywhere like out unless i'm just going to the supermarket or somewhere but then i got a cuffed bottom which i like because i am quite short and you know um but yeah they're just like a slim fit tracksuit bottoms but yeah like i said i hope they fit you just never know with primark stuff because everything you can buy like so many items in the same size and it will all just fit very differently. But because they're slim fit, they might be a little bit on the tight side. So she did say they had loads of sizes in the morning, but I missed out. So what can you do? This is just black plain black t-shirt that I bought again in an XL. And oh, I didn't realize it was so long. That is weird. I can't even see. Okay. It was just £3.50, but one for the house or pyjamas or, I don't know, like I just live in t-shirts, even in autumn and winter, because I get very hot, so if I have like, if I'm going to be outdoors all day, like at a Christmas market, then yeah, I'll wrap up, but I don't like thick jumpers, I always have to wear a t-shirt or something underneath so I can take it off if I need to. Oh, it's nice that she gave me the hangers, although I don't really like the Primark hangers. Um, again, oh this is a really thin like jumper oh this hanger is driving me mad okay it, <clears throat> okay it's a really thin jumper with three quarter length sleeves i normally don't like those they're a bit granny aren't they three quarter lengths i'll have to see it looks a bit oversized which i like love the color let me just turn the ring light off again sorry if the change in light is annoying you but i just wanted you to see the color properly oh they had this in black, which I really wanted, but they didn't have any sizes. And they had it in charcoal grey, which, again, they only had the 2XL. So I bought this in an XL because it just looks quite oversized. And I thought this was quite nice just to wear in the house because, again, I don't really wear thick jumpers, like I keep saying. <laughs> then I bought this. I never used to wear sweatshirts. I always used to wear jumpers. And then I bought a cropped sweatshirt from... Primark actually a few years ago and I always wear that with my black jumpsuit because it just works really well and now I quite like sweatshirts because they're not as warm and thick and heavy as jumpers but this was a little bit different and I really thought this was really cool they didn't have very many sizes in this I feel like it might have been old stock because it was like kind of hidden again it's a 2xl that's all they had but it's a nude sort of mink sweatshirt which looks quite casual but then on the back it has this I don't know I just thought it was really a bit different I always like things that are a little bit different to the norm and I don't normally go for low backs backless or detail on the back because like look at how long my hair is you'd never you'd never see backless stuff on me anyway so I just thought this was a little bit different again oversized because that's just the look I go for and I love but yeah it's really unusual isn't it it's like silky pleaty reminds me of half of my midi skirt collection I thought that was pretty cool okay put the ring light on again just if you wanted to get a better idea of what this looks like oh my god this is like all i bought for 72 quid i've got one more item in my hand but that's one two three 
It's like seven items of clothing, slippers, a charger and socks. That's quite a lot. Primark isn't that cheap anymore, is it? I did think that the cardigan was quite expensive for 15 quid for Primark standards, and it is. I quite like it. I'll have to like style it properly because again, I'm really fussy. So I'll have to like look at it with like the clothes I actually want to wear. And my rule with Primark and returns generally is if there's about half of the stuff that I want to return, then I will. And if it's like the more expensive stuff, if for example, I wanna keep all of this and just return the slippers, I'm not queuing up in Primark to return slippers. I'll just donate them to charity or sell them online if it's like a higher value item. But anyway, the last thing I bought, I don't know why I bought this actually. I got into a conversation with this girl. I was looking at pajamas and then she was looking at pajamas and everywhere I went, she was sort of there. And then I picked this up and she's like, well, that's quite nice actually. And she was like, anyway, it was a whole long thing. So I got into a conversation with her. It's just a pajama t-shirt. In fact, it's actually a night shirt. So it's quite long. I just like to sleep in a t-shirt. I hate, maybe like when it's really cold, like snowing outside, I wear like pajama bottoms, but I don't like, I like bare legs when I'm sleeping. So I'll normally just wear a t-shirt. So even if I have like a full pajama set, I won't wear the trousers. I'll wear the shorts if I'm staying at someone's house. But I just thought a night shirt was a little bit different. I don't know if it's granny to wear a night shirt because it's like a really long, are you, you, like this is how long it is. It's nothing special. It just says ready for bed, which I don't really like this bit, but it's black and white stripey. Never had a night shirt before, so I don't know. Let me know. It's just like what your mum or your granny wears. <laughs> I feel like it might be. <laughs> I normally just wear a t-shirt that like either comes with pajama bottoms or like an old t-shirt I no longer wear in public to bed, but yeah, that's it. Like I can't believe that is literally all I bought <laughs> for 72 pounds. It's a little bit ridiculous. Primark isn't that cheap, kids. Don't be fooled. I reckon it's probably on par with like new look. I haven't shopped in there for years either. So yeah, that is like my once a year Primark trip and all the stuff I bought. I'm quite pleased with it. I really hope the um, tracksuit fits because that'd be like so nice to like cozy up in, especially like when you get closer to Christmas and you're just lounging on the sofa, eating popcorn watching like trashy Christmas films on Netflix. Like that's how I envisage wearing that. And this cardigan, again, I can just see myself wearing this while I'm sat at my laptop working on the sofa. I don't know, like it's just all quite cozy and cute. But yeah, I had a quick look at the menswear because I always like to pick some stuff up for Jess while I'm there. And I love shopping for menswear because I don't have to worry about like stuff fitting me or like boobs or like necklines. You just pick up a medium and you're done. <laughs> and it's just so easy, but there wasn't really like anything nice there for men. And I thought, especially at the moment, we're like avoiding shops. Today was like quite a nice day for me to like get out of the house and do something a little bit different for the first time in months. But I just thought if he wants stuff, he will just, we'll just go together or he'll, he'll go by himself. It's just a bit easier than having to go and like return stuff if he doesn't like it. So yeah, but yes, yeah, so I didn't pick anything up from him. But now let me turn this ring light off. I'm actually going to go and bake some cookies because I made cookies a few days ago and there was far too much dough so I froze half of it and we're going for dinner tonight and I said to my cousin I'd take her a couple of cookies but we've eaten them all so I'm going to bake a fresh batch just for her. <laughs> I was in such a rush, I literally baked the cookies just before I left the house and I think they've just cooled on the drive here but look at how nice my cookies turned out for my cousin. We're like I think five minutes late but we're just heading to the restaurant now we're home from dinner I have loads of clothes behind me to put away from my Primark haul earlier and I've just realized I completely forgot to vlog while we were out I'm just not used to vlogging at the moment because it's been so long since I've like done like a casual come around with me everywhere type video that I just forgot but dinner was really nice we had Chinese we're in a food coma now so we're just gonna sit on the sofa and finish watching Shit's Creek, which we're on the last season of actually now. So I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed watching, seeing what I picked up in Primark. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye.